In this video, I'm going to show how to use tone mapping in IRA for Rhino. The most important slider of the tone mapper is the exposure slider because it sets the general brightness of your image. Use it to adjust the image to have a good brightness that you can work with. And um, as you can see, in case you have overly bright areas, like here we can't distinguish the ground from the sphere anymore, you can use the compress highlight slider to regain some of these overly bright areas. So like these are compressed to be displayed on screen again. And now that we have uh, brought back some of the luminance here, um, we can use the cross shadow slider to bring in more punch, so it makes dark areas darker and it increases the contrast. But um, be careful because sometimes uh, these effects can be too strong. Also, if you use compress highlights too extensively, you see like the image starts looking shallow, so be careful. Um, another thing that you could try is playing around with the gamma value and uh, lowering the gamma value typically results in an image that looks to have more contrast so the colors get richer so you might even need to compensate in such a case by reducing the saturation slightly but if this is what brings you to the desired look feel free also to play around with these values as you just want to make sure that your image is looking good the vignetting effect simulates the darkening around the corners of an image that you see with analog cameras so if we dial in you see that we have this darkening going on and we also can make a white balance so higher values give a warmer tone to our image while uh, lower values make the image to appear cooler use this if you want to compensate for the color of artificial lighting the default value is 6500 tone mapping an interior is another scenario that i would like to show you in interior renderings, typically you have strong contrast between very dark and very bright areas. So um, once you have set the general exposure to be fine, um, let's compress the highlights so we see the details outside the window. This is good. Typically we don't need to cross shadows because the dark areas are already dark enough. One method that you can try is increasing the gamma value, which reduces the contrast of your image. So setting this to something like 3, you see that the dark areas tend to become brighter and we kind of lose uh, some contrast in our image so we can dial the compressed highlights back. On the other hand we can slightly increase the crushed shadows to get some contrast in our image. So this is another technique that you can try when tone mapping your interiors. If you want to learn more about our software, visit us at nvidia.com slash iray.